Hey everyone and happy Monday. It's Colleen the Hair Healer back with the Hair Healer Podcast Quarantine Series. It is May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. I know we all love saying that. Um, I definitely was never a Star Wars fan until I had children and boys and they're obsessed. And if you follow my social media, you know that I have like a four foot Darth Vader that follows me around, haunts me for my son Remy. He puts it outside, he'll put it everywhere. It's it's crazy. So may the 4th be with you. I hope everyone had a good weekend. Enjoyed last week's um, plant medicine series. I want to thank those three beautiful women for bearing their souls, opening up, telling everyone about their trauma, their life stories, things they've been through in hopes to bring um, some strength, some positivity, and some hopeful moments for people out there that are really struggling. Um, this week, we're doing a lot in the beauty industry, okay? So I'm super excited. We are starting out today's episode with Carla Jones at Carla Jones. But before we jump into that, or before I even tell you a little bit about that, I want to talk about Venus and Gemini. I know last week I talked a little bit about it, and we are coming up on the Venus retrograde here very soon, in about seven days, I think. And before I jump into that, if you want to know more about your horoscope for the month of May, as well as Venus retrograde for your sign, um, your sun sign arising, please check out my teacher at Night Light Astrology, okay? He is on all the podcast apps, YouTube, everything. He is so good and it is so, so, so detailed. So if you want to find out specifically what's going to happen for you, please go to Night Light Astrology and check out for your rising or sun sign. But as a collective, I want to talk about it right now here um, in the beauty industry, because as you know, we were one of probably the hardest hits <laughs> because everyone stopped, right? And it's not just the hairstylists. It was the estheticians, the lash artists, um, the waxers, the barbers, everyone. Okay. It totally came to a halt and we were all left with like deciding not only like where to go from here, but like, what is the beauty industry and where is it going? So a lot of times with Venus retrograde, it's about um, reevaluating, bringing things back up into our life. So Venus, the planet stands for beauty, okay? And that also includes all of our artistic endeavors, love, money, finance, okay? And again, I know that most hairstyles we are have a crazy love life, so we're not going to talk about that. But we are going to get into the artistic endeavors and how this whole thing has changed our beauty industry and how it's coupled with Venus and Gemini. So when we think about Geminis and we think about beauty, think about the Gemini suns or the Gemini risings in your life. And they sort of have this very eccentric, eclectic, this is who I am, slightly different. We don't like to fit in and we want to bring different concepts of beauty. Okay, so that is exactly what's happening now. And we're matching um, the mind, right, in Gemini and how much the mind can make things beautiful with the actual beauty beauty industry and merging it with healing, which is really cool. It's what I'm seeing now. So what is deeper? Right now we're finding out what is, what's going to make us happy. Not only what is going to make us beautiful, but what's going to make us happy. And now more than ever, the world has gotten to see that the beauty industry, we are so, so, so much more than just making you beautiful. It's how we feel. Okay. I love seeing right now, as you know, I've been working on the healing side of this industry and I love seeing how so many hairstyles now are incorporating because we are the healers of the world. Yes, we do not have that the psychiatry degree, maybe some of you do, but we have the life street, the emotional IQ degree, which I know for me, actually when I go see my therapist and people, that means more. I want someone who has my experience. I don't give a shit about your degree. I actually wanna know what your experience is and how you can relate to me. And in this profession, not only are we making people beautiful, but we're feeling, we're helping them feel beautiful and we're touching them, okay? We're touching their head, we're opening up the crown chakra, we're in their energy field, okay? We are so much more than giving people good looks. And that is what I'm seeing now is what can we do? We can now merge, we're the healers, right? Now we can merge beauty with healing, with all of our artistic uh, endeavors. It doesn't just have to be the typical, this is what we do. Everything is like posting every other week, every other day, the balayage, this, the same, the basic repetitive look that we see come through the beauty industry. Um, we can talk about Australia, G and beauty. We could talk about, you can merge all these things, right? The Gemini, the high mind. How can you merge in your personal life, in your personal career, the beauty with the mind? and the healing to make it much more because that's what you are is so much more and i want to also add it's interesting to see how the beauty in uh how beauty in general is changing right um beauty what makes 
things beautiful, honestly, is energy, okay? That you can see someone who is, I don't know, every shape, form, color, whatever it is. And if it's coming from the inside, they look beautiful. And I love whenever we talk current trends and makeup and eye color and what looks best for you and this and that and the other. But the truth is, what it comes down to is all that's kind of bullshit. Yes, in a surface level, that means more. But I guarantee you, if you feel comfortable on the inside, if you feel beautiful on the inside, you will be able to rock anything, any look, any hair color, any anything, any outfit, you will be able to rock it. Okay, because beauty really does come from the inside. Beauty is an energy. That is why, have you ever met someone who you saw was so beautiful and then you get to know them and you're like, oh God, you get to know their energy, what they're about. You're like, you instantly, right? My mind instantly kind of made you ugly. And then you get to know someone who you would think would maybe be an average looking person or you wouldn't maybe necessarily look twice or be like, oh, there's a supermodel or whatever. And you get to know them and their energy is amazing. And all of a sudden they are beautiful to you. Everywhere you look, they look good. They're beautiful. Everything is changing. So you can, you can look, feel, be whatever you want, whatever style you want, whatever hair color you want, whatever, whatever age you are. Okay. You can be, look and do whatever you want. And that's what this Venus retrograde is going to show us, especially in Gemini and especially going into this new world we're all entering into. Okay. Every, every type of person is beautiful. Um, and society's idea of beauty is whatever the celebrities make popular or whatever the magazines make popular and collectively gets in our, our mind or subconscious and we think it's beautiful. Just like in the 90s, the, the, was the Calvin Klein heroin chic models, right? Skinny, white, look like they didn't eat in a week and like sunken in and, you know, they're, they're shooting up in the back room. But um, that was the look and that was beauty. And for a long time, we thought that was beauty and people thought, you know, the princesses or the Barbies, that was beauty. And again, so then we started to look and attract that, but it's not. And in 2020, we're breaking down those misconceptions of what beauty is, because beauty is everything. Beauty is every kind of skin color. It's every kind of hair color. It's makeup, no makeup, it's whatever it is. Right now, we are forced to go down to the bare natural and everything, okay? what makes you beautiful because whatever makes you beautiful on the inside will show on the outside okay and if you feel not beautiful okay again that is some things that we have to tear around in our mindset because collectively again you got to be skinny you got to be this you got to be that and that is not the truth Okay, so in 2020, because there's going to be someone that likes you. I'm six foot, I'm red hair, I have tattoos, I got a loud mouth. I'm not everyone's type, and I'd be okay with that. I'm not, and, and you know what? Those people aren't my type either, and that is just in general. I don't know if I'm just rambling off here. I know I do a little bit, but I'm just trying to get this apart, get this across that we are all beautiful. We are all souls in a human flesh body or flesh body. I can't remember what people call it, but we are souls and that's where our beauty comes. Yes, it's fun to dress up the outside, but the true beauty will come on the inside. Guarantee you. So again, it doesn't matter. And take this time right now to reevaluate A, where you want to go in the hair industry or the beauty industry if you're in there, how you want to merge it. Do you want to be a uh, a hair healer, a beauty healer, a brow healer, a barber healer? Do you want to incorporate some mental health in there and helping people? How do you want to appear? Because you can merge both of it. We can merge the mind and the beauty, okay? And again, there are, every look is beautiful. And it's just so funny. You can look around in different states. Like here in Philadelphia has a look, but I'm on the main line. So I could guarantee you I could describe, I'm not going to get into what the beauty of the main line is. Um, and everyone has it. So we are all beautiful no matter what shape, color, size, whatever. We are all beautiful. And that's come together collectively. And in the beauty industry. And that's come together. And that show all different kinds of beauty. And how beauty can be portrayed. Um, the outside, the inside, whatever. We are here to transform. That is what's happening in 2020. We are aligning. We're transforming. It's been many, many steps of surrendering letting go, trusting, and aligning, okay? And knowing your purpose. Right now, you may be reevaluating purpose and trying to figure where it's going, but it's going to be okay. Your purpose, your purpose is living in today, listening to this, and figuring out how you can make the next step tomorrow. That's your purpose. Again, I don't know if I rambled on there. I hope I helped someone in that little, in my little beauty in Gemini. 
uh, my Venus and Gemini talk. So let me get into talking about Carla Jones. Carla Jones is so cool. I was so happy. She actually reached out to me when I put something in a beauty group about looking for someone to come talk. And here are all my notes so I don't get too, too sidetracked about her. But she's down in Atlanta. And so the it's a pretty long episode. The first 45 minutes episode is about her story. She got pregnant for the first time at 13 years old, okay? And that just fueled her life. This woman has accomplished so, 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 so much. And the first half is about her life. The second half is a must listen to for everyone in the beauty industry, okay? It is about what to what we're gonna be going through, what it's gonna look like when we get back behind the chair, um, the precautions, the safety, all of it. So again, the first half is very inspirational. It's about Carla Jones's life. The second half is definitely a must listen to for the industry. Okay. Let me stop talking. Happy Monday. I love you all. I just want to remind you that you guys are all beautiful. If you have, want to be on this podcast, if you feel like you have a good message, if you want to bring a story of hope, please feel free to reach out to me on my Instagram at the hair healer 1111 or the hair healer podcast at yahoo.com. I hope everyone has a great day. I love you all. Again, you're beautiful. Believe in it. And if you need to put a sign up on your mirror, look at every day, say, I am beautiful just the way I am. Change that mindset. I love you. Go. Let's jump into this interview. Thanks.